Hello folks and welcome to the Philips PageRider TC50. In this video we're going to be taking the unit apart. As always, use your anti-static precautions. And just a note that uh, this unit was actually damaged by water, so you'll see quite a bit of corrosion and damage to the boards through the video. This is the catch to release the keyboard. It's a bit hard to see here, but... Once that's released, the keyboard can just pop out. Just showing here that catch and how it releases the keyboard. So you depress that lever and then slide that plastic section along and you can gain access to that from within that battery compartment. So it's depress the lever and slide at the same time to release it. And the opposite to put it back in of course. So torque screwdrivers throughout. few screws here and this cover just pops off. So you have to remove that rear cover first to get access to those additional two screws to release the front cover. Now that cover can come off. These are the screws just securing the hinge in position. and the cable connecting the two units, just releasing that cable. And there's a small locating pin there as well. So as you can see, just gently slide to release those catches and out comes the display assembly. If you ever have to change this cable, just take note of how that's um, wrapped around the hinge there. Just a couple of screws. I'm not going to do much with this uh, display assembly other than just to show you the main parts. The main thing you're likely to have to do is to change that interconnecting cable.
These are just normal Phillips screw, screw heads, not Torx. And the case just clips apart. Here we are. You can see that cable just wraps around once. And twice around that hinge. So again, just take note of that if you ever need to replace that cable. And the connector just gently pops out. Again, I'm not going to go any further with this part. So back to the main unit now. We're just releasing the power supply from the top. in the power input cables there and the output cable there. and out it comes. You can see there's a uh, clear insulating sleeve sitting behind it. And just below it you can see the memory card on the machine. So to change that card you'd presumably have to drop that power supply out of the way first. Again quite a lot of screws, they're all the same length which is good. Probably a small powered screwdriver would be quite useful for this job. I have sped the, these bits up a bit. And don't forget there's a nut just in the middle there. Easy to miss. And the earth lug is held on by a larger torque screw. with a captive washer. Now this top plate just lifts out. There's some small locating lugs on the left hand side just above the battery compartment. Just removing the radio modem now. Protective cover and the actual car just slides out. And to release this uh, network board, you only need to undo this one screw. And it just slides out. You don't need to undo those additional screws on the board. Just 
it's showing the unit sliding out. So it's really all one unit. One screw slides out. Just undoing the nut on the patient input module socket. Again, quite a few more screws securing this main board in position. As you can see, quite a bit of damage in the centre of the board there from that water that I spoke about earlier. This whole unit was pretty well a write-off. and just lift it up and gently out. And there's the main board. Just removing this metal chassis, internal chassis. One screw and the whole thing just slides and comes out. Very well put together. Again, you wouldn't normally see all that corrosion and damage there. The input connector there, how you would um, replace that. Just a couple of screws securing the print head and driver mechanism. Showing you the print head there. I didn't go any further taking this apart. But if you had to change that print head, it looks fairly straightforward. And just showing you how the paper tray comes out. So you need to angle it just at the end to release it. And there it is. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.